Hello everyone. Good morning. This is Dr. Neha Khorke and today we welcome you to another session of Zomio Classroom. This time instead of uh, presenting a case directly, we will be studying a very interesting remedy. A remedy that is not prescribed very often. A remedy that is unfortunately not very well known. But it is a remedy that has been seen to show marvelous results in people for whom this remedy matches as their constitutional. And that remedy is palladium. Palladium is a remedy that has been represented by even our stalwarts. Borek, Fartak, Clark. In fact, Herring has proved palladium. And yet, we are just coming to know how this remedy is so useful in so very many cases. Let us start and study how palladium evolves into palladium. So first, let us have a look at the different reference books and what they say about the remedy palladium. For that, let us view now Zomio. Now in Zomio, how we can view the different reference books of palladium. Since we are now not going through a case but through a remedy, we will be approaching the software and the features of the software very very differently. So instead of the usual repertorization, we will now be looking at the remedy. So when we have to look at the remedy, and suppose we need to see um, the different notes of the remedy in the different reference books. I go to the module of books. So I click on books and I click on reference books. This feature can be accessed with the simple pressing of the command B function on your keyboard. So I click on reference books. Now here. I will be able to read the different reference books as well as the different um, notes on palladium. Now on the left hand side, I see an entire list of all the books that are there in uh, Zomio. But suppose I want to see only those books that have something uh, with relation to palladium. That means that I am now going through a remedy and not through a reference book. Then instead of going in this module of books, I go into the module of remedy. How this helps me is it makes my search simpler. It makes my search more specific to a remedy. So I go into the module remedy and I click on remedy list. On the left hand side you see a list of remedies that are represented in the different reference books as well as repertories present in Zomio. Now I want to only look for the reference books of palladium. So in this search bar here I start typing palladium P-A-L-L -L, and the list drills down to six remedies out of which the first remedy is what I'm looking for, which is palladium metallicum. Now, since it is already selected by default, on the right hand side, you can view the different properties of palladium that are there. But I want to specifically look for a reference book. And I want to look for, say, Borex references for palladium. So, here, on the blue taskbar where the word properties is written, I click on the word. A drop down opens and it shows me different options that I can click on to view about palladium. I click on reference books. Now again here, in the reference books, there are different books that represent palladium as a remedy. Now suppose I am looking for a specific book. Like I'm looking for Boric. I click on this word books. And now I am able to see all the books 
that have references for palladium. Again, I am looking for boric. Now these books have been listed in alphabetical order. So it is very easy for me to look for a book and read it. I am looking for Materia Medica by Boric. I click on it. Now the page opens where I can see everything about palladium that is written in Boric. Specific to our session today, let us have a look at the symptoms of the mind. So this is what Boric has written and let us see what he has especially written in capitals. Love of approbation. Easily offended. Keeps up brightly when in company. Much exhausted afterwards. Otherwise he has written about inclined to use violent language. Now all of these sentences or all of these symptoms that he has written are symptoms. But how do we evolve them into a picture is what we will see in this session. Let us look for another reference book. Let us go in for Clark. So if I need to read Clark, the book's name is Dictionary of Practical Materia Medica. I click on it and now Clark, look, see the amount of information that Clark has given about this one remedy which is not a very well-known remedy. Now, if we look at the mental symptoms that Clark has given, greatly inclined to use strong and violent language, again given by Boric, fond of the good opinion of others, also too much weight is laid on their judgment. Therefore, very excited in society. Now, Clark has given a, a little more of an elaborate picture of palladium than boric. So, boric being a clinical repertory uh, and a clinical materia medica gives you very, very specific symptoms. Clark has given a little more of an explanation of those same symptoms that Boric has given, which is why this book makes us understand palladium a little better. And that is why, friends, it's so important to have more than three or four Materia Medica books written in different styles at our disposal because it becomes so much more easier to understand a remedy by this. Now something else, easily wounded pride imagines herself neglected. So can you form a picture now of palladium in your mind? Let us look at palladium and see how it is represented in another book. Let us go for Fatak. Again, a book that has been prepared along the lines of Boric's Materia Medica. So just above Clark's Materia Medica is Concise Materia Medica of Homeopathic Remedies by Fatak. Now in this again, Fatak has given very very succinctly about the symptoms of palladium. He also mentions love of approbation, seeks the good opinion of others and attaches great importance. Easy prey to slights. Now this is something new that we are reading. Easy prey to slights, real or imaginary. On the next line we see, depressing news worsens all the symptoms, time passes too slowly. So we are getting uh, the evolution of palladium in bits and pieces from different books. But how has palladium actually evolved as a medicine, as a constitutional is what we will see. So from the books that we have read. This is a list that we have compiled from the books that we read. Love of approbation. Approbation means approval. So, palladium has a lot of love and lays a lot of importance on seeking the approval of others. Pride. Easily offended. Keeps up brightly when in company but much exhausted afterwards. Wounded pride and fancied neglect. So something similar to what Fatak has written where 
he falls or she falls easy prey to slights real or imaginary desire for company fond of the good opinion of others also too much weight is laid on their judgment greatly inclined to use strong language and violent expressions how do all these symptoms come together as a picture how are they tied up together to form a personality is now what we are going to see now how are all of these symptoms related to each other what actually is the essence of palladium now to know that first let us have a look at the periodic table of elements so palladium is an element it is a metal see where it is placed it is placed almost in the center of the periodic table now how do we correlate that with a doctrine of signature palladium loves to be the center of attention she loves to be the center of attraction and this is how we can remember that palladium is present almost at the center of the periodic table look at the elements that are present around palladium so above palladium we have nickelium again a metal below that we have platinum and on the left and right we have rhodium and we have argentum or silver now what is the common thread running through all of these remedies nickel rhodium platinum silver and palladium is that all five of them are used in the making of jewelry yes palladium is also used in making jewelry it is also another form of white gold so all of these elements palladium as well as the elements that are present around it are used in the making of jewelry precious as well as non precious and what does a jewel do for us a jewel sparkles it shines so it is a form of show and that is the theme that runs through palladium show sparkle glitter is what palladium is all about and this is the central theme that runs through this remedy and it's very easy to remember how palladium actually is by just remembering these small small uh, pointers that help us to understand what a remedy actually is so this is the core of the remedy because it is a remedy that is more to do with sparkling more to do with glow more to do with shine so she always thinks this this is there in her mind i am worth much more than what others think i am worth i have to be acknowledged and praised for what i do but it is not just a praise that palladium looks for it is flattery i am different from others and i have to be given special attention like i mentioned she loves to be the center of attention or the center of attraction and that is why that is why you can correlate with the symptom of keeps brightly when in company so when she is among people she gets an opportunity a chance to be the center of attention but if this does not happen if she is not getting the attention or the approval or the praise that she feels she deserves this is what she starts thinking people are deliberately neglecting me and that is how we correlate with what is given in fatak falls prey to easy slights real as well as imaginary even if people are not actually neglecting her she feels and she is certain in her heart that they are neglecting her how can they ignore me like this her pride is wounded how can they not appreciate my talents this is wounded pride and easily offended this is how the symptoms have been put in the different reference books with relation to the different remedies the need for praise 
is so intense that it borders on the desire for flattery and that is why in the rubric flattery desires you will see that palladium occupies top marks so let us have a look at the rubric flattery desires so when we have to look for a rubric i just want to generally look for a rubric among all the repertories that i have and for that there is a very very simple command called command s the moment i press command s a small toolbar or search bar rather opens and i can just put in the keywords that i am looking for so uh, now what we are looking for is a desire for flattery so i put in flattery desire okay now just now see how many rubrics are there there are only four rubrics and let us have a look at the remedies that are given in the uh, rubric flattery desires from the mind chapter of complete repertory to have a look at the remedies i just have to click on it single single click and now this window opens there are only 12 remedies in which palladium is the only remedy with gradation 3 now are you surprised that a remedy like platina which also is a very proud remedy a haughty remedy does not figure in flattery desires but palladium is there now this is the main difference between palladium and platina and we will be seeing this uh later as we go on but i just wanted to show you this rubric of flattery desires where we also have a remedy like sulfur where we also have a remedy like lycopodium which runs sort of parallel to palladium though there are a lot of differences but if you see palladium is the only remedy that is grade 3 now another thing that another uh symptom let's have a look their entire self worth revolves around the good opinion of others which means that i need others to say nice things about me and then i will feel good about myself so even this is a rubric that we have good opinion of others longing for the good opinion of others let's search for it command s again and let us just type good opinion okay see we have rubrics like this opinion of others longing for good now let us see we have complete we have kent we have uh, segel's perfect repertory we have gentry we have lippy let's look at kent's reference that has only one remedy in it and the only remedy is palladium given in two marks longing good opinion of others for such a specific rubric and palladium is the only remedy in kent so are you now forming a picture uh, of palladium in your mind she loves so it is a remedy of show it is a remedy of self worth and that where does that self worth come from it comes from others praising her others flattering her for her talents and for her skills they are at their very best when they get a platform to perform because this gives them the opportunity to flaunt show and exhibit their talents and this makes them the center of attention so again here performance is of utmost importance and here we can run parallels to argentum nitricum we can run parallels to lycopodium but the difference between these two remedies and palladium is that palladium actually wants to perform she is never nervous before a performance because this is what something she desires this is what something this is a chance for her to show how good she is and how she can become the center of attraction whereas for argentum and lycopodium although they are performers they get very nervous they have second thoughts so this is the major difference between palladium which is also a remedy of performance and lycopodium and argentum nitricum 
which are also remedies for performance. So, um, like we said, palladium loves to be the center of attraction. And because of that, she loves to perform. And that is why they love being among people. They love the presence of people. They love being in a crowd because then they can showcase their talents. And that is why in Desire for Company, we will see that palladium figures in many, many repertories. So again, if we do a command S and we do Desire Company, in desire for company, let's go in for say Kent, company desire for, okay. If we look at the remedies in this, you'll see that again palladium figures in the second grade in company desire for. We usually think of a lot of other remedies for desire for company, but palladium is not a remedy that we usually think of. So, this is the reason, see, when we say company desire for, as a rubric, it's a very general rubric. But what we need to understand, to differentiate between the different remedies that are there under company desire for, we need to know what goes on behind the mind of that remedy. Why has this particular rubric or symptom evolved? of this love and desire for company. In palladium, the reason is that she wants to show how good she is, which is why she needs that company. She cannot show how good she is when she is alone. She will have to do that among people. And that is why once the company is gone and the performance is over and they go home, once they are alone, they become exhausted and feel miserable because there is a constant need of people. If they are not given the privilege of being the center of attention, they feel that people are purposefully neglecting them and that is why their pride is wounded. That is why they feel offended very very easily and so they are inclined to use violent language to express their frustration. Now, this use of violent language comes at a very later stage. Earlier, the evolution is very different and we will see that difference when we study the major differences between palladium and platina. But right now, let us focus on this. They feel that people are purposefully neglecting them. If you transform this or convert this into a rubric, it becomes delusion neglected she is. So let's have a look at that rubric here. Let's do a command S and go for delusion neglected. Okay, we have 22 rubrics related to a delusion of neglect. Let's go for the first one which is delusions, imaginations, neglected he is or she is from the mind chapter of complete repertory where you will see that palladium is the only remedy in gradation 4. All other remedies are in 3, 2 and majorly in the first grade. But palladium is the only remedy for neglected she is delusion that comes in grade 4. Let's look for now wounded pride. Okay, Again command S. Wounded pride. Okay, We have 15 references for wounded pride. Let's see the first pride ailments aggravates from injured wounded again if you see now look at uh, there's something funny here palladium is grade 3 but platina which we will feel is has to be there in wounded pride is in grade 1 
in fact staphys agria matches palladium in wounded pride but if you see the evolution of staphys agria and the evolution of palladium are completely different staphys agria is a remedy that is more giving it's not a very selfish remedy but if you see on the opposite side palladium is a very self centered remedy but both of them have wounded pride staphys agria has wounded pride because of humiliation or insult or a reserved displeasure or an indignation palladium has a wounded pride because she feels that she is being neglected and because she is being neglected she feels offended and her pride gets wounded so can you understand the difference between the remedies we are now coming up with a picture of palladium and what better way to understand the picture of palladium than by comparing it with other remedies as well because it helps us to distinguish the personality of one remedy from the other so here in ailments from injured wounded pride palladium is the only remedy that is or rather along with staphysagria these two are the remedies that are in grade 3 they feel easily offended and inclined to use violent uh, language so when we uh, convert violent language using violent expressions or violent language we talk about cursing or curses so uh, with a command s let's look for those rubrics that have the word curses okay so we have perfect repertory boric repertory allen nair let's have a look at what is there in boric so mind propensity to be abusive curse swear 11 remedies single click on the rubric and you see that palladium is represented with grade 2 the other remedies that we see are the remedies that we usually expect anacardium belladonna lacaninum lilium tigrinum stramonium tuberculinum veratrum alb we know these remedies to be verbally abusive remedies but again if you see palladium figures in this verbally abusive remedy but if you try to understand that palladium is a remedy that seeks the approval of people then how can a personality that is looking to seek approval start using violent language because this will automatically lead to disapproval how does palladium evolve or think in such a manner so here we come to a comparison because whenever we look at symptoms or think of symptoms that pertain to uh, egotism or pride or wounded pride or self centeredness we always think of platina so that is why i am going to show you how you can differentiate a platina from a palladium what makes palladium different from platina so let us compare the two remedies that are so closely related to each other and see what are the exact differences between palladium and platina so that our prescription becomes accurate so let us look at the remedies of palladium and platina to know what are the exact differences between the two to help us make a better prescription for our cases in future platina is a remedy which will show why they are to be given importance how great they are it doesn't matter whether he is or she is talking nicely curtly or frank rudely she will ensure that people know that she is an important person that she is a great person but palladium on the other hand will know that she is great but she will never directly tell anybody 
and that is the egotism of palladium as compared to the egotism of platina platina shows how important she is that is her ego palladium never directly tells that i am important so palladium is a remedy that will never show that she is important she will never tell she will be egoistic but friendly she will be stubborn but she will be friendly and that is why there is a very interesting rubric in our repertories let's have a look at what that rubric is so when we do a command s i'm going to type two keywords obstinate which means stubborn amiable which means friendly and look there is only one remedy in that rubric obstinate headstrong but amiable tries to appear she is not actually friendly but she tries to appear friendly and if you click on that rubric the only remedy you see is palladium which makes palladium a slightly manipulative but a very social remedy she is not very direct or frank like platina she tries to get her own way by being nice so like we said palladium is egoistic but she does not show it in a direct manner so what makes palladium different from platina is what we just saw one rubric obstinate but amiable tries to appear platina will not make any pretense she will just not be friendly or amiable her work has to be done which means that she has to get her importance let us see some more differences platina flaunts her superiority but palladium flaunts her superiority through her talents platina says i don't care what they think of me i know that i am great i don't need any approval okay so she is not bothered about what people think of her she knows that she is great in her mind so she does not need any validation from people but a palladium will think i care deeply about what people think of me although i know that i'm great but i crave for approval and that is why if you see that platina is more haughty for palladium it is more of vanity so let us have a look at the difference between these two words now again these two words run parallel to each other haughtiness and vanity but what are the finer differences between the two let's have a look at what they mean and for that to know the meaning of these two words we go to the module of words click on it and go to word meaning and in this on the left hand side we have a list of more than 1500 words for which there are meanings present so if i'm looking for the meaning of the word haughty so i type h a u okay so now i have got the word haughty and the meaning against is arrogantly and inordinately proud so proud to another level more than arrogance is haughtiness now if you look at vanity the quality or state of being vain excessive pride in one's appearance or accomplishments so now this type of pride becomes more specific it is something to do with her looks it is something to do with her talents that is where the pride lies and that is the difference between vanity and haughtiness that is the difference between palladium and platinum so let's have a look at how uh, these remedies are represented 
in those respective rubrics. Again, we look for haughty first. So, a command S and I type haughty. Okay. Now, I get 110 rubrics. Uh, let me have a look at the rubric of say um, Kent. Okay. It has 37 remedies. I click on it. Now have a look. So you have both the remedies that are represented. We have Platina and we have Palladium as well. But if you see the gradation of Platina is more than the gradation of Palladium. So Platina falls more into the haughty category. There is haughtiness in palladium as well, but it is more in platina. Now, similarly, if we look for vanity, so a command S and let us type vanity. Okay. Now, again, vanity, there are only five rubrics. Let's see the rubric from complete that has 20 remedies. So, if you see Palladium is the only 4 mark remedy for vanity, whereas Platina occupies just 1. Now the reason for this is that Platina is not bothered about her appearance. She is not bothered about whether she has talents or not. Her priority is superiority. I am great no matter what. For Palladium, it is a matter of vanity. I am beautiful. I am good looking, I am talented and that is why I am egoistic and proud. Okay, so this is the major, these are the major differences. Now, we always felt that there were very fine differences. But if you see now, after seeing the meanings of the two words and after seeing how the two remedies are represented in different rubrics, we know that they are completely different from each other. If you recall, we also read one symptom of palladium that she uses violent expression when she is offended. Now, when does this come? This comes at a very later stage. She is not like Platina who will be rude and directly say, no, this is not the way it is. I am great. I know what to do. Palladium will not express initially. She will just feel offended. She will feel very bad. But her ego will prevent her from expressing that feeling of uh, offense. When will she go into violent expression? When it goes to a much later stage. When it becomes too much for her. She is too frustrated. Initially, she compensates by not saying anything. But when she reaches a point where she feels completely saturated. Now enough is enough. That is when she immediately switches to violent expression. And that is why cursing, swearing, platina figures in that rubric. But we need to understand when she starts becoming like that. At a very later stage. Palladium has a reverse side also. Okay, I am not the center of attraction. One side is I am not the center of attraction. My pride is hurt. I am very offended. But I will still be friendly to you. The other side is that she will get so shattered because she is not getting approval that she will go into depression. She will go into total suppression. And then at a later point, all that suppression will come out together in the form of one violent outburst. And that is where palladium runs similar to staphysagria. Staphysagria also lets everything build up. It lets everything accumulate. All the suppressed anger, all the suppressed emotions, all the indignation is built up till at one point it just comes out like a flood. And a similar thing can happen with palladium where she lets everything build up inside her and then it all comes out in one violent outburst. But the major way in which you can differentiate palladium 
from staphysagria is that staphysagria is more of a selfless remedy. She will always do things for others without any expectation. Whereas palladium is not a selfless remedy. She will do things for others. She will be nice to others. But with the expectation that she will get praised for it. And that is the difference between palladium and staphysagria. So, let us have a look at the different rubrics in which palladium is differentiated where it will be easier for me to show the compensated and the decompensated palladium. So, if I want to have a look at only the rubrics of palladium and here I am talking majorly the mental picture of palladium. There is a very beautiful feature in Homepath Zomeo called Remedy Extract. Now, the Remedy Extract is like a reverse Materia Medica, which means through the repertory, you can derive the Materia Medica of a remedy. Usually now what has happened is, we do provings, we form a Materia Medica, and then through that Materia Medica, we form an index, which we call as a repertory. But here we are going to do the reverse. From the repertory, we will be forming a Materia Medica picture. And to do that, we go to the module of Remedy. And under Remedy, the second option is Remedy Extract. Now this window opens in Remedy Extract. First, I have to enter the remedy whose rubrics I would like to view. Now we would like to view the rubrics of Palladium. So, I type P-A-L-L. -L and I click on Palladium. Done. Now like this I can uh, get the extract of multiple remedies together. But as of now I only want to look at Palladium. So Palladium. Then I add the repertories or the chapters of the repertories from which I want to see the rubrics of Palladium. Now, because I am concentrating on the rubrics of the mind, I will look for only the mind chapter and let me take only one repertory which is complete. So, in the repertories under complete, I select the chapter of mind. I can select multiple chapters together. I can select an entire repertory also. If I would like to view the rubrics from all the chapters but as of now since we are concentrating on the mental rubrics I select only the mind chapter from the complete repertory. Done. And now the quality of the extract that I am looking for. So I want to see all the rubrics that are there in palladium. The other option is common rubrics. Common rubrics comes when you have selected a minimum of two remedies. And then the software will show us which are the rubrics that commonly show both the remedies together. Unique or PQRS rubrics are those rubrics in which the remedy that you have entered here is the only remedy in it. Okay. But right now we are only looking for, we are looking for all the rubrics in which palladium is represented in the mind chapter of complete repertory. So now I click on extract and now within a fraction of a second I now see that in the mind chapter of the complete repertory there are 259 rubrics in which palladium is represented. Okay, now if I want then I can export this entire list into uh, an excel sheet or a word format uh, for me for viewing later on. So to do that, so that I can save it on my computer uh, separately, I click on export. Okay, and it gets exported and saved as a CSV file wherever I want on my computer. So I write say Palladium 1 and I save. So now 
this has got exported on my desktop okay now if i want to view this okay let me go to my desktop okay the file that i downloaded is this now if you can see this is the list of the rubrics of uh, the mine chapter of complete repertory in which palladium is represented now look very carefully like for example look at this mind psychological themes compulsions responsibility decreased avoiding and just on the next line is compulsions responsibility increased which means what that there are two phases to palladium there is a compensatory phase and there is a decompensated phase as another example have a look here ambition ambitious and just the next line is ambition loss of both of these have palladium represented in them of course the difference is that in ambitious if you see on the right hand side palladium is represented in grade 3 whereas in ambition loss of it is represented in grade 1 so although it is more of an ambitious remedy when palladium goes into a state of decompensation like i explained she can go into a complete lack of confidence that is when she loses all her ambition and she leaves everything i don't want to do anything now let it be i am not getting any appreciation why should i make an effort this is the decompensated palladium okay and like this we can see a lot of other interesting rubrics about her anger okay anger with trembling if you remember we had seen a case once where the remedy that was given was mercsol so even palladium has anger with trembling again another important remedy that has anger with trembling is staphysagria and that is why we have palladium and staphysagria running parallel to each other in many aspects okay this is how it becomes so easy to understand a remedy through rubrics why because in many cases the symptoms that are mentioned in rubrics are not there in a lot of materia medica books that we read so it becomes like an additional reading for us pertaining to a remedy now going back to the software so this was the uh, extract that we ran about palladium so what do we understand about uh, the evolution of palladium let's do a quick recap she is somebody who is uh, who takes a lot of pride in her appearance in her talents and that is why she likes to flaunt them because when she flaunts them she gets appreciated she gets approval and that is how she can become the center of attention but when this does not happen she feels offended her pride her ego is wounded and that is why she starts feeling that people are neglecting her but initially she will not say anything about it she will be very friendly she will be very social but she will not say anything it is only at later stages when everything builds up together that it all comes out in one angry and violent outburst and this is how all the different symptoms of palladium have been derived now let us look at the physical symptoms of palladium palladium figures majorly in a lot of physical symptoms as well headache headache of palladium is very prominent pains are neuralgic and go from ear to ear okay let us see a reference for this symptom so we go to remedy click on remedy list because we want to go again into the reference books of palladium and in the remedy i type palladium okay again 
I click on the word properties. I click on reference books. And now I see a list of books. I click on books to know how many books palladium is represented in. And I go in for Borex Materia Medica. Now if you see the symptoms of the head. In absolute prominence it is given pain across top of head from ear to ear. Read the next, worse after an evening's entertainment, which means that during the entertainment, during the uh, social function, she is absolutely fine because there are people. Once this is over, once the entertainment is done with, that is when she starts feeling exhausted and then she starts getting her headache. When she is alone. Okay. The other physical symptom is. The leukorrhea and discharge from the throat. Has a glary jelly like consistency. There is a marked uterine prolapse. Or retroversion of uterus. With bearing down pains. Could you ever think. Of palladium as a remedy for bearing down pains and prolapse of uterus. Which remedies do we usually think of for this? Honestly, the first remedy that comes to our mind is sepia and then lilium tigranum. But do we think of palladium? Let's have a look at a, another reference book. Let's go for an unconventional book Homeopathic Drug Pictures by ML Tyler. She has given a very interesting picture of palladium. Now let us read this one paragraph. Palladium with platina had much uterine bearing down. With platina the sensation may be as if the uterus would come out. Apparently platina affects the uterus more Palladium the ovaries, especially the right ovary and that is where we see our next symptom. Pain is felt in the right ovary. Let us read this further. It gets more interesting. But in prescribing these remedies, it is the peculiar mentality, the haughtiness, the overbearing, the sensation of tallness which distinguishes these rarer drugs from sepia with its dull indifference or lilium tigrinum with its aimless hurry and its worries mental and even spiritual. The next symptom is most important. A symptom, a locality do not make up a prescription. They may suggest it but it needs the whole picture especially the mental picture to match if the magic is to work. This is a gem of a sentence written by Margaret Tyler who explains to us why it is so important to know the evolution behind a remedy before prescribing it. The evolution of a remedy driving to a certain symptom like anger with trembling like ambition loss of, like desire for company and aggravation when alone. Now looking at the next sentence, pain is felt in the right ovary, better by pressure, better in company, by flexing thighs and by rubbing. Now if you want to understand this symptom where the pain in the right ovary is better by pressure, let's We'll see what Clark has written. So we go in the books list. We go to Dictionary of Practical Materia Medica. Now in this, he has explained a very interesting case. Which was cured with palladium. Look at this. The chief characteristic of palladium is affections of the right ovary 
attended with pains which are better by pressure. Kina cured palladium, cured with palladium, a young lady who had excessive pain in the right ovary during menses. The only relief she could get was by inducing her sister to sit on that region. This better by pressure distinguishes the pain of palladium from the similar ovarian pain of platina. So can you understand in these source books, in these amazing old reference books, there are such important sentences that are given that you can never forget a remedy after reading them. And that, my friends, is the importance of reading, of reading through different source books to understand a remedy over and over and over again so that you never forget that remedy ever in future. So this was the evolution of palladium and the physical symptoms. Now, let us understand how palladium represents or comes to us in a short case. Okay, before that, let's have a look at its modalities. It's worse after evening entertainment. We explained that. Worse after depressing news. The opposite is seen in Tarantula and Medorina. Worse lively conversations when alone and after social functions. That is when she feels worse. She is better when she thinks of her complaints. Better by touch, pressure and rubbing. So there is a desire for magnetism. Something that is similarly seen in phosphorus as well. Okay, now here's a case of palladium. We know that palladium has been prescribed. I just want to show you how we came to this remedy through a case. It is a case of a 32 year old woman who came to us with a complaint of multiple fibroids in the uterus. Menses were profuse lasting for 8 to 9 days. She felt very weak during her menses. Intolerable discomfort. So the sphere is uterus. Desire for sweets. Aversion to non-vegetarian foods. Mild constipation. Sleep disturbed at times. Menses. Chief complaint and menarche happened at 13 years of age. Thermals, bathes with tepid water. She likes winter. Enjoys fan and air conditioning in summer. In winter, she is more comfortable without the air conditioning. And the ultrasonography confirmed the presence of multiple fibroids. Now here was her appearance. Clear skin. Almond shaped eyes, soft round facial features. So she was a person with delicate facial features, not sharp ones, delicate facial features, lightly made up face. Now why we have written this is if a similar person walks in with a clear, with you know, with the impression of clear skin and a nice looking face, but heavily made up, then you think of lycopodium. You think of lycopodium, of course, everything else must match as well. Okay, a lightly made up face is palladium because she knows that her skin is very nice, she looks very nice, she doesn't need that much of makeup. Okay, the patient was an actress, unmarried, but she had an affair with a married man from the film industry. He was nearly twice her age when the affair started. The affair reached its zenith in a few months. Everyone knew about it. She bought an apartment close to where he was staying. Now this is interesting. She said she never accepted a role that was a supporting role. She always wanted the lead role because I am beautiful. I have to be the heroine. This was her statement. She always insisted that during credit sequences, she get top billing. 
and if another actor gets awards or praised she said i don't like it at all why not me so there is some envy also i am a dominating person because i have to get my way whether it is in the family or in the industry and i usually get my way she loves being among people alone she feels miserable wherever she went her ego had to be satisfied or she would just walk away she also wanted to have children but since she could not marry she had to suppress her desires she is very generous and she has strained to support her family she has spent all her wealth for everybody this strain has now taken a toll on her health and because of that she has developed hormonal disturbances and fibroids no major or particular dreams now from this picture if you just uh, sorry from this case history if you just take you know it's very easy to get prejudiced and think that she is platina because it's very clear that she is egoistic she is dominating okay she likes the lead role she refuses supporting roles it's very easy to think of a remedy like platina but if you see the essence behind it okay if you see that she loves being among people platina will never mind being alone she is okay with being alone she anyway doesn't like to be with people whom she thinks are inferior to her but palladium is okay with it as long as she is getting the approval as long as she is getting affection okay now the diagnosis is uterine fibroids it's a dynamic chronic miasmatic disease with fully developed symptoms miasm is psychosis now this was the totality we took because her mental picture was so strong egoistic haughty vain dominating a desire for company and aggravation from being alone this is the totality we took and if you notice all of them are mental symptoms we have not considered any physicals here so i repeat egoistic haughty vain dominating a desire for company and aggravation from being alone now this is how we converted them into rubrics egotism self esteem haughty pride vain became vanity dominating dictatorial desire for company company desire for and being alone aggravates is very straightforward alone aggravation so now let's repertorize these rubrics using zoomio okay the first rubric we'll go for is egotism all right now we'll do something different instead of doing a command s let's go in for the classic way let's record all of these rubrics using the classic way since we are going to record all the rubrics from the same chapter so to do repertorization the classic way you click on repertory and then click on repertory list or just go for a command o keyboard option okay so now by default the mind chapter of the complete repertory has opened i'm just decreasing the font size to make it a little more comfortable okay so now we have the first uh, rubric we look for is egotism let's just start typing that's it that's all you have to do egotism okay so this is the first reference we get egotism self esteem click on it it's recorded The next is haughty. So let's type haughty. Okay. So now we have directly jumped to that rubric of haughty pride. This is how we can see the remedies that are there. So 
I check the box and now Hotty is also recorded. Next we go in for vanity. So V A N I OK directly jumped to vanity recorded. The next rubric is dictatorial. Alright. So dictatorial again we have directly jumped to that rubric of dictatorial that has 99 remedies record. Now suppose I want to have a look at uh, which are the other similar rubrics to dictatorial? You see a small bulb here. That is the symbol or icon for cross references. So I click on it and now in this pop up window, I see different cross references for dictatorial. Right? Okay. Next rubric is a desire for company. So, okay, let me type company space desire all right so here i get 69 references for company desire i can either check this box and record the rubric or if i want to view the remedies that are there i just click on the rubric and now i can see the list of remedies okay i check this box this rubric is also recorded and now I take the last rubric. So there is not just a desire for company. There is an aggravation or she does not like being alone. So I type alone. AGG. Okay. 21 references for it. And the first rubric is what I am looking for. Alone aggravates. There, is, there was also an interesting other rubric that we saw below that. Company desire for alone being aggravates. Let's have a look at which remedies are there in that rubric. Alright, so if you see in company desire for alone aggravated being, palladium is there as a three mark remedy. So we can record this rubric as well since this is a little more specific for our patient. So, alright. So instead of 6, we have recorded 7 rubrics. And let's have a look at the repertorization sheet. To have a look at the repertorization sheet, you click on the first icon in the black taskbar. Alright. So what we see is that there are 367 remedies. Now, if I click on symptoms covered, okay, I see four remedies that are covering all the rubrics that I have recorded. Palladium with the maximum gradation, followed by Lycopodium, Veratrum and Merck. Now, how do I differentiate considering that my remedy falls between these four? How do I differentiate between these four remedies? First, let me apply a very simple filter. I know that the miasm is psychosis. So let me first eliminate all the remedies which do not fall under this miasm. So to apply this filter, I click on this icon which is for remedy property filter. And here, I scroll down till I come to miasms and I select the miasm of psychotic apply. Okay. Now my list has got drilled down to three remedies. Palladium, Lycopodium and Merxol. How do I differentiate between these three? Okay. Now if you have a look at these three remedies. They are so different from each other and yet they cover all of the rubrics that we have recorded. So how do we differentiate? Now when it comes to Merxol, Merxol is a remedy in which you will find a history of domination. She may or may not be dominating herself but there is always a history of domination in Merxol. 
and there is an intense anger which is expressed with trembling and with violence none of this kind was right now seen in this patient so we eliminate murk then we come to palladium and lycopodium now lycopodium is a remedy of performance is a remedy of show but the level of egotism that we are seeing in this patient is more seen in palladium more represented in palladium and like i mentioned before lycopodium usually when a lycopodium woman walks in she is usually heavily made up because she is trying to cover herself whereas in palladium it is the exact opposite she knows she is good looking she doesn't need to cover herself and that is why also because the uh, if you consider the sphere of action the sphere of action of lycopodium so every person who comes with a physical complaint comes because the focus was on the most sensitive organ or system of the body in lycopodium the most sensitive system of the body is the digestive system in palladium it is the genitalia especially the female sexual system and the nervous system and here this helped us to differentiate between palladium and lycopodium so a single dose of palladium 200 was given in a span of 1 year four more doses of palladium were repeated in the 200th potency within a year and four months the ultrasonography showed no fibroids in the uterus she was completely cured only with a few doses of palladium so what do we learn from this case the right medicine can reverse pathology because it reverses the process that created it even though the situation remains the same she may be in the same situation even after the fibroids have gone she may still be in an affair with a married man she may still want uh, you know lead roles she may still be dominating but the understanding of her situation improves and that leads to taking a right decision in that person once a right decision is taken it brings a lot of peace and this is what we take away from this case so here is where we end the session i hope that this has been a very interesting session for you it's been a, a very different session for me because i have this time not directly started with a case i have explained through a remedy and through the evolution of the remedy and i hope that this session has helped you understand palladium better and um, will help you prescribe palladium and help patients thank you